So another new ES6 feature closely related to template literals are tagged templates. And you can think of a tag template as a function that takes in a mix of strings and variables and then formats them and returns them based on some conditions or rules that you apply. So in this example I've created a function called greeting that has two parameters, strings and name, and strings will actually be an array of all the blocks of strings that we provide to our tag template, and the name parameter is a variable it will pass in via the dollar and curly braces syntax. So to call a tag template you simply reference the tag template name and then directly pass a template literal straight after it and you'll notice in the output that we only get the first part of the template literal that we pass to the tag template of greeting and that's because the second bit of text, the nice to meet you, is in the next part of the strings array which we haven't actually used in our tag template. So whilst this is useful to play around with the format of a template literal it's not really doing much more than we could do by simply rearranging some of the values in the template literal itself, the real power with a tag template is when you've got some more complex logic that you need to apply to the template before you return a completed string. So here you can see a more complex example where we're doing some logic depending on what time of the day it is, and you can also see we're skipping part of the original template literal that's passed to the greeting tag template at the start of the string, which is useful if you've got your data from another source and you want to skip part of the information and replace it with your own custom templating. So that's just one example of tag templates, and they can really help you simplify complex logic within your template literals.